In this guide we will connect your computer to your router and your router to the internet. After you unpack the box, the first step is to plug the power supply into the router. Plug the power supply into an available power outlet. Connect the phone cable from your ADSL line to the ADSL port of your router. Connect one end of the supplied Ethernet cable into one of the router's four LAN ports. Ethernet cable looks like a regular phone cable, but the jack is larger. Connect the other end of the Ethernet cable into the LAN port of your computer. You will see the LAN link lights light up by the computer's LAN port and on the front of the router. This means a physical connection has been established between the computer and the router. The power light, ADSL light, WLAN light and one LAN port light are all lit. This means the router is on, has established a link with your broadband provider and is connected to your computer. It is now ready to be configured. Go to your computer's desktop. Move the mouse pointer over the My Network Places icon and right click the mouse. A menu will appear. Move to Properties and click the left mouse button to select. A list of all the available network connections will appear. Next, move the mouse pointer over the Local Area Connection icon. Right click to select the Local Area Connection icon and display the menu. Move to Properties and left click the mouse to select. Select Internet Protocol TCP IP. It will highlight. Click the Properties button next. Select both Obtain an IP address automatically and Obtain DNS server automatically. Then click OK. Next, we want to log into the router's configuration page to ensure the connection between the router and computer is sound. Go to your computer's desktop and open Internet Explorer by double-clicking on the icon. When the browser window opens, enter the default IP address of the router into the address bar. In this case, it is 192.168.0.1. Every computer or device on a network has an IP address. It identifies the device and allows it to communicate with the other devices on the network. A login dialog box will appear. The username is admin and password is the password. Click OK. Input the details of your broadband account. If you're not sure of any details, ask your ISP. Click Wireless Settings and type a new SSID name in the SSID field. This will identify your wireless network and distinguish it from others that might be in your area. Here we've called the Wi-Fi network My New Network. Click Apply. OK, let's get surfing the web. Open Internet Explorer, type a web address into the address bar and hit Enter. Success! Your new network is connecting to the web. 